just finished uh, a festival and it's kind of an alternative festival and many different kinds of people, even for alternative, there are the hipsters, the punks, the goths, the metalheads, etc. And everybody has kind of their own thing and each one of them have things in common with each other. But one thing that I see over and over again, and I've observed this for, well, the last 50 years especially, and that is that every time a, a kind of a subculture like that begins to, to come out and they attach to Christianity as well, something is lost in the theology. And I could go through each one of them and tell you what I feel like it is. But in our quest to become new and fresh and, you know, connected to a movement and different than everybody else, we want to do that also with theology. And many times, and metalheads are like this too, many times we want to adopt things that, well, that maybe aren't so healthy with us. The Bible says not to drink too much. Metalheads have a tendency to drink too much. You know, and there are little things like that that kind of become part of the movement. And because it's part of the movement, it's okay. Well, deeper theological issues are also at stake. And there are some really deep theological differences with quite a few subcultures. That's the danger of a Christian subculture. We think to be different also means that we've got to be different theologically, and it is not true. You know, we have one Bible, just one. What it says, it says. It is relevant to every single culture. And it's all right if you bring different kinds of hair and different kinds of look and different kinds of dress, and you identify with the culture, that's been happening for a very long time. But it's not okay if you change theology to do it. You know, I've noticed that there are a lot of people that come and, and they're a little bit at odds with each other because of things that their culture does theologically or believes theologically that are different. Those are the very things that should connect us, not divide us. And so I guess my point is very simple here. Whether you identify yourself as a hipster, as a punk, as a goth, as a metalhead, whoever you are, it's okay to be different. It's not okay to be different theologically. Theology, the, the, the study of God, which is what theology means, knowing who God is will always remain the same. The Bible that all of us use together will always be the same Bible. And what we glean from it will always be the same. It's the very thing that unites us as Christians. So even though we may feel a bit divided because of subcultures, we should always feel united because of our link with the scripture, our foundation in its theology, study of God, and our commitment to truth. That's the important thing. God bless you. Have a great day. Thank you.